At this Pakistani restaurant in Beijing, they talk about food and the long friendship between China and Pakistan. The relationship amongst the people, it's very open and very clear. I mean, you can see it, you can feel it. They always mention that the Pakistan is our uh, old friend, Lao Peng Yu, and which, is, which is good to hear, basically. China and Pakistan are celebrating 60 years of diplomatic relations this year. Pakistan's prime minister is here on a four-day visit. The tour comes amid mounting tensions between Pakistan and another key ally, the U.S., after American special forces killed Osama bin Laden on Pakistani soil. Pakistani authorities say that the prime minister's trip was scheduled long ago. But analysts say that this visit now allows Pakistan to counter U.S. pressure by strengthening ties with China, a country that the prime minister has described as Pakistan's best and most trusted friend. Since the killing of bin Laden, Pakistan has been criticized by some for failing to find bin Laden. But China was one of the first countries to defend Pakistan's role in the war on terror. Analysts say for good reason. The Pakistanis played a major kind of role as a bridge, bridging China to the Muslim world. Pakistan could also be another route uh, for China to, in a sense, to ship oil and petrol and other resources into China. China is Pakistan's main arms supplier. Beijing is also offering aid and investing in nuclear power plants and ports. Yet the relationship has its limits. China has strong trade ties with Pakistan's arch rival, India. And analysts say Beijing wants Pakistan to do more to counter Muslim militants in areas along China's western border. But the two sides insist their relationship remains steadfast. And here in this restaurant, some who are weary of assistance from the West want that relationship to grow. America, they invested a lot of money in Pakistan, but it was not invested in the right direction and in the right areas. China now making its own investments, and some say increasing its influence. Eunice Yoon, CNN, Beijing.